There it is, that beautiful moment when the sun breaks across the horizon. Well, in this case, the tree line. It broke the horizon about five minutes ago. It took this long to get to where I could see it. I'm just thankful to be off for a sunrise. One of my guilty pleasures these days. Yeah, I got off early this morning. It's a blessing because I got home just in time. Sam knew it was our time to go walk, so he was excited. He couldn't wait for me to get out here and take him for a ruck, so I threw out my 40 pound pack and said, let's go. We're gonna catch a sunrise. You know, I've really enjoyed seeing the sun the past few afternoons. You know, here in Florida right now, it's 43 degrees, or at least it was when I started walking. And uh, it's probably warmed up just a little bit since then because by noon it'll be in the mid to high 60s. It has been every day this week since Saturday. And I have enjoyed getting some sun each of those days. You know, when you work graveyard shift, you really start to miss the sun. And I think it's done wonders for my skin for one, but it's also been a good source of vitamin D. You know, I'm almost two miles into a three mile ruck today. So that's why I'm already out of breath. Plus, I just got off of work. <laughs> I mean, I, the job I work at, we keep going all the time. So it's, uh, it's kind of a miracle to me that I would even want to go for a ruck after a day of work. But even a six hour day, is, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> but today was a little slower than normal, so I had some pep in my step when I got home and Sam was ready, so I said, screw it, I'm gonna get up and do it. <laughs> I didn't even sit down because I knew one thing the past few days whenever I sit down after I get off of work first thing I do well usually my wife will start rubbing my feet because she knows my feet hurt after a long day of work and uh, I'll be ready to go sitting there with my computer in my hands gonna do some some uh, I've been trying to log down all the stuff I wanted to talk about in my two-year videos that I want to share with you and so many times I just fall asleep the moment I, I get started to do it. And then uh, I get up a little while later, but then I've got only a couple hours to spend some time with my wife and kids. And I usually spend as much time with them as I can. And then I spend 30 to 45 minutes in the sun. And uh, I've been listening to an audio book lately when I drive to work and when I drive home. And then also on my, my days sitting in the sun, or my you know time sitting in the sun, and it has really opened my eyes to a lot of things that I'm glad I heard this book before I started making the videos about my two year experience because I had a lot of conjecture to share with you about uh, processed foods and the things that I've noted when it comes to dealing with advertising and all the stuff that that used to be normal for me but isn't normal anymore thank god but i've got a real much better look so far i'm in chapter 25 i think of 28 chapters so i'm about to wrap that up and uh, i'm hoping to be able to come share some some thoughts i've had not only from reading the book but also with my two years of experience on doing this diet and when i say doing this diet it's just a uh, figure of speech I change the way I eat I don't eat the way that I did before after two years of eating this way I have some insights I'd like to share and I can tell you they're mostly all good now if I were to tell you everything was perfect you'd know I was lying because we live in an imperfect world there is no perfect situation there is no perfect anything in this world but it's as honestly been as good as it can possibly be I've loved every minute of it and I can't wait to share that with you especially if you're new here and you haven't been watching my channel as long as a lot of folks have where I pretty much document daily in a lot of cases what I've been doing you know there's so many doctors out there who talk about this diet and they have great insights to give but as with most people they feel like this diet is not attainable 
It's not something I can do. The regular guy can't handle a diet like this. I'm gonna tell you, I'm as regular as they come when it comes to being just a regular American dude. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, it's only by the grace of God that I can cover my bills every month. But uh, I'm just saying I'm a working stiff like a lot of you guys. So I'm hoping that's gonna be able to give you some insight on how you can get healthy how you can change what has been done to you. And I'm gonna say it's been done to you because a lot of people have tried to blame us. Blame us for the fact that we were fat, overweight, tired, not motivated, no desire to get up and do anything. Well, I'm gonna tell you it's not true and it's not your fault, but you've still gotta make the change. And that's what I wanted to talk about today just to let you know that you can do it and that my battery is about to die so I may not get everything I want to say in here <laughs> but I just wanted to come give you guys a quick update and let you know that since I got a little time today I'm gonna keep working on those two-year videos and I'll be back to see you next time screw it get up and do it if we pay extra could we maybe get some grease or fat think the battery's gonna die Sam I think it's gonna die any second now I just didn't want it to end in the middle of the talking. But that's probably going to happen now that I'm watching the battery with the line through it. God, it feels good to be high on life. Don't let any excuses stop you from getting out and getting that exercise. Oh, I do want to add real quick, if I can get it in, iodine has really helped me to deal with the cold. 43 degree weather would have bothered me to death out here walking. I'd have worn three layers or something. I'm just wearing a regular old hoodie and this hat and a t-shirt and I feel fine. And one of the side effects of low iodine is sensitivity to cold. And I've been working out and working outside pretty much all winter long. And thanks to the iodine, I was able to do that and I can enjoy a nice ruck like this and not feel miserable like I did last year when I